Um, and the Carnage armor goes really hard. Uh, the Mystery armor also goes really hard. There's there's quite a few sets of, of nice armor in the game. Carnage and Mystery are maybe some of the best, though. Unless they've added new stuff with a more recent update. Carnage and Mystery go pretty dang hard. Body toucher, yes, I know. It's it's a, it's it's um it sounds weird, but it's what you gotta do. It's just, it's it's they it's from Tarkov. Um, in Tarkov, you want to touch every single body because it gives you EXP if you touch a corpse, even if you killed it or not. So, um, in in Tarkov, I would I would call people body touchers. All right, you know, I'd be like, hey, go touch that body. Stop shotgunning me as I walk up. So it's it's a phrase I have from from Tarkov. It's it does sound very sus though. I do understand that. But don't worry, nothing weird's going on. The bodies are dead, Chad. Nothing weird is going on. Hey, Ronox, how you doing? How you doing, Ronox? Welcome on in. I'll be waiting like this? Yeah. That's good stuff. It's great to see you, Ronox. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. If I XP, you have to... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, where's the elevator? It's down south. That's great to see you, Ronox. Hope you're good. Oh, I missed... Let me see up here. Starfield is worse than Skyrim, so maybe sometimes we'll join with modern, more models will join. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, regardless, more models will join, you know, down the line. No no matter what. Oh, we're on the bottom floor. There is no elevator. We just got to get this. Um, Texcon is already the strongest faction. I am scared. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed the Zero, but, um, and I hope you don't mind. I, I called you Zero instead of the full name there. Um, I, I shortened most folks' name. Uh, the um, Texcon gets two missions as opposed to one. Texcon gets to expand at twice the rate as any other faction. So if you don't actively fight against Texquan, they will become the most powerful faction on the map every single time. So you do have to beat them back. You have to like fight against them or they, they become powerful. And Fallout New Vegas Greater Rifles change. Changes everything once you get it. That's that's very true. And don't you start the game with a grenade rifle if you if you have like the DLC, don't they give you a grenade launcher? Um I feel I feel like in New Vegas you get one right off the bat with the DLC. Which is like super OP. Like, it, it, it's like giga OP. It's, it's a huge amount of power. No, not drop. Okay, when you drop, it's fine. When you drop stuff from your inventory here, it doesn't go to the ground. It just goes in here. I meant to divide. Oh, and we got some class chips. Ooh, Oberon, a new character. And Mirza, we already unlocked her. Okay, we got a gun and some chips. That's fine. Um, but I do want to divide these. We don't we don't need all, all, the, uh, all the stuff in here. I'll just take three, of course. That is my standard amount. Chat, I missed that buffalo, dude. We had one buffalo this whole time. We had a single buffalo, and it's left us. I'm so sad that it's gone. I'll, I'll remember it forever. All right, let's finish this mission. Let me sip some tea here. You mean the demons? Yes. Hmm? Hmm? Yep, that you do. I, I feel like I'm I'm missing something from chat. I, I, I'm getting lost by chat there. That's all right. Um, at least SBN is doing well with her tech. Got a few energy weapons, a few, uh, few good stacks of batteries. Amcom shotguns are at least better than Jeff Hammer, personal and objectively. True opinion. Oh, I actually, I uh, I go back and forth between them, Zero. Um, I play almost exclusively with shotguns, um, but I spent a lot of time uh, preferring the Taegas over the um, over the Jeff Hammers. So I currently, I think the Jeff Hammers are better, but it's tough to say the real answer. Um, they're very good. If nothing else, they're very good. My opinion flip-flops, but right now I, I prefer the Jeff. Oh, the faction that grows too much? It's Texquan. Let me let me show it off here. Um, Texquan, if you... Uh, here we go. See, they're the most powerful one in my system because I've not fought them. They have two missions. Everyone else only gets one mission. Um, so, they're, so they're twice as likely each week to get a Conquest wish mission and have the Conquest mission um, succeed. Um, so they're twice as likely to steal an asset as, from, as anyone else every week. And they're just, in general, all the other stuff powers up more, so... Um, if you're not actively fighting against Texquan, they do take over, like, really, really quickly. Um, I was talking about the grenade launches at the start of Fallout New Vegas. Oh, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. So, yeah, that that, that is indeed quite powerful. That adds a lot of power. So, we'll do this mission. Um, again, we just made SBN a little happier with us, um, which is great, and then we're going to do a mission against them, and they're going to be a little a little sad for, uh, in regards to us, so that's fine. But, Branch will pog. And we've been trying to get Franch up off the floor this whole time. They're the weakest uh, faction right now, um, despite my efforts to make them better. So whatever, they'll become more powerful eventually. I'll keep I'll keep working for them. They'll keep pogging. Are we set up? Yeah. And how are we doing on this level? One more one more infection, and this will level up. That'll be nice. 
Um, and then 40, 47 bodies to touch there. And then this stuff just levels whenever it does. This being fully leveled is really good, though. The fact that these are both fully leveled means our combat power is maximum, which is great. The other, the other stuff doesn't add combat power, so that's good stuff. Having those two stats leveled up all the way is pretty much all you need to become uh, quite a potent, quite a potent mercenary as, as tunnel rats. Scientist there. And more scientists. A mercenary? What do you have? Okay, you're not that impressive. I just wanted to make sure that they weren't super spooky. Um, the, the mercenaries. Like, they didn't have the, the super high tier gear. Um, lots of shotgun ammo so far, which is nice. And we'll take the weapon parts. Um, I'm just too lazy, so I'm not going to take the cloth on this one. Um, but we will take weapon and armor parts. You get the extra meds, of course. Um, I'll take that bottle of water, actually. I was going to leave it behind. I'll pick it up. I'll take it. I will take the bottle of water. I don't want to smoke on this one. No smokes. We'll have no smokes. Okay. Bottle of water. Was there another one here? Another bottle? Nah. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go over here. Pick up the sang beezy. Good old sang beezy. Aren't Ancom, SB, and Real Rare and the only four factions? What's the other one's got that's worth it? Um... I, so, I don't know. My hope is that the other factions g gained more, like, they, they changed the balancing of the factions. But generally speaking, you are correct. Ancom, SBN, and, um, Ancom, SBN, and, uh, uh Realware are, are, like, far and away the strongest factions. But, um, I, on this, on this playthrough, we just, we just worked for whoever. Um, and then now that some of the factions, like, you know, have started to like us and dislike us, I've been leaning more into them. I just kind of let, like, fate decide on this one for who we would work for it. But if you are looking to just get the, the best armor fastest or whatever, um, at least on the old patch, there might be a change to it now. Um, SBN, SBN, Realware, and Ancom are, are definitely the way to go. Hands down. They're, they're easily the most potent um, factions. But we're working for French, and maybe they'll have something cool. Maybe they will power up into a respectable faction. We'll just have to see. We'll have to, we'll have to give it an old look-see. Or I can take his helmet and disassemble that for an armor part. Pro tip, the Enigma has insane pierce. Oh, the electromagnetic guns? I, I, I never knew that. I also don't respect them that much. I don't use them that often, so... Um, that might have been why I didn't know it. Um, I like them on the one character that gets double weapon durability, but other than that, I don't really like them that much. Yeah, there was another guy there. I don't know where he went. Maybe he's walking around to get to me or something? Or maybe he's just wandering. Stormtrooper? Maybe, uh, no, that's the Storm TT, I think. I think I saw it. Yeah, that's the Storm. Little old TT. No big deal. Mm, we can make these, so I'm not gonna pick it up. Um, I'm not gonna, like, clear the inventory for it, just because we can, we can craft them on our own. They're not easy to craft, necessarily. They're kind of expensive, but they're not that expensive. They're, they're easy enough. I want this ammo. Oh, we can, we can do this. I was like, there's gotta be a way. Disassemble, take another water, because why not? Take this guy's gun. That's a lot of heavy ammo, dude. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take some heavy ammo for sure. Probably both stacks. Um Oh, instead of the trash. There we go. I was like, what can I get rid of? Literal trash. Literally it's called trash. Okay, I can't go there, hold up. Uh why didn't why do you gra grab all the shotgun ammo? Isn't uh buckshot cheap to make? Um it is pretty cheap to make. It just um, I, I burn through so much shotgun ammo because I use it so frequently that if, like, if, if I'm just trying to produce it from other powder or whatever, then I would just end up having to get a bunch of 9 mil or whatever. Um, but we don't have much shotgun ammo at home right now, so, um, until we get a little more, I, I take, like, quite a lot. Because uh, we, we are running out of it. Like, I, I burn through, um, like, if we're going on the Texclon missions or whatever, I'll burn through, like, a, a hundred or so per mission. Um, so I end up, like, pretty heavily in the negative if we do a, a fair few alien missions back-to-back. -back. Um, so I, I, for now, I value the, the shotgun ammo pretty highly. But once we get enough of it, and especially when we get, like, Fletchettes unlocked, I'll stop worrying about the buckshot. Because, um, you know, I, I want the Fletchettes more, and by then we'll have plenty of buckshot, I assume. I don't know, probably sounds really long for guns or two 9mm pistols. Yeah, I, that should change eventually. That should change eventually. If, if you're tr tr like working for real wear and only getting pistols, they should down the down the road end up with uh, assault rifles available. 
Um, if, if they're, you know, balanced in the same way they were on the old patch, which they very well might not be. They very well might not be. There's more water here. I might as well pick that up. Sure. How close are we to leveling up Marauders? All right, not that close. Still 31 bodies to touch. It's only 30 now, though, chat. And 30 is not that many. We could, we could definitely get that done on this mission if I'm, like, a little diligent with it. If I actually go through and check all the bodies. Which, again, you should do because they're just they're, they're loot. That's where the loot is. I should be doing that naturally, but I don't. I mean, this is the Heretic. It slaps. Um, 14 to 34 damage. You can fire both shots off at once. It's pretty good. Going real air mission again from the, uh, those filthy hive mind statists. The uh, the you you got a, a real wear AR from the 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 what is it called the civil resistance. They also have their own ARs, I think. So it might have just been one from them, but I don't know. Um, like like the, some of the guns are shared between more than more than one faction. Uh, for in terms of like what they use. But if you are looking for an AR, uh, the stormtroopers will often drop the uh, the AK thing that we, we picked up earlier, that we got this ammo out of. Um, so if you are just desperate for any AR, you can just kill some stormtroopers. You'll, you'll come across one eventually. The punishment. Okay, that's a really good one. That one's very good. You got that from Civil Resistance? That's awesome. Uh, I, I haven't, again, we're not like far enough in to know what all the, the different factions can drop right now. Uh, knowing that they could have a, uh, a punishment is pretty sick. Maybe I actually did know that already. Maybe I got one off the coal node. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But the punishment is really nice. That's that's a really really good gun. One of one of the better guns for sure. And I forgot to break apart weapons, dude. The weapon parts will never be stacked up, Chad. I'm the worst gamer. They will never be stacked up. It is what it is. But it's it's not good. I'm not happy with it. I'll take two antibiotics, though, all day. And it sucks leaving the saying beezies behind, but we already have 10. I'm not going to give up stuff for them, so we'll repair the gun and take these extra antibiotics. We just we just have so few at home that I will, I'm happy to pick up another stack. Okay, disassemble, eat this, eat this, reload, take the rest of the shotgun ammo. Do we have plates? Not a full stack, so I can take that. And then this guy. Ooh, we had some fletchettes. I'll take the 18. It's not that many, but maybe we can get our hands on more. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Okay, floor four? All right, floor three. Maybe it's the bottom floor, though. Maybe it's the bottom floor. We'll see. We'll have to see. What are you? Oh, just the, the standard Merc. Scientist, scientist, okay. As long as it's not a professor, and they actually both died to one shot, that was great. But as long as it's not a professor, they're, they're much less scary. Eat the food, disassemble, reload, just, oh, no, wrong gun, there we go, reload, so we can take, like, a little bit more ammo there. Mm, PMC ration is pretty good. I don't know, I'm just gonna eat it, I'm not gonna worry about it. That's, that doesn't seem like a great decision, though. I don't, I don't feel super good about not taking that ration. I feel like I could have probably figured a way to take it, like, happily, but I don't know. We'll just send it. How many bodies have we touched, man? 132? All right. 18 more, Chad. 18 more. We're getting there. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Mr. Turret. Okay, didn't even damage me, thankfully. The, the mystery armor goes really hard. It's it's definitely going to help. As, and as long as we're alive. When we die, it's gone. But as long as we're alive, it's going to provide like an incredible amount of value to us. We're painkillers. Antibiotics. Whatever. Whatever they are, I like them. Double fighter, we just don't need them right now. Load that bad boy, take that ammo. We took it, right? Yeah, okay. 136? We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm gonna use the rat skills, but Hades Scouts gets a greatly spread me snipe with a Taiga. Um, so why I value um the the, the the tunnel rats over the um, the scouts, because the scouts do get a huge amount of uh, like accuracy with the shotguns, is because of how flat damage, or how damage interacts with armor in this game. Um, yo, and a full stack of Fletchettes is insane. Um, I might even take those extra 11 instead of this or something. But um, if you hit, I've, I've said this like a bunch of times, so people are probably like, oh my god, we've heard this before. But if you hit an enemy that has 10 armor for 10 damage, you don't, um, you don't do any damage. But if you hit and if you hit them like ten times, you don't do any damage every time. 
But if you hit them for 20 damage when they have 10 armor, you do the full 10. So I um, I value the flat damage increases much, much more than the increase in accuracy. Um, just because of the more heavily armored enemies, uh, they, 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 they defend rather well against the shotgun shells. Um, you can switch to different like types of ammo, like the Fletchettes or the Buckshot or, or the uh, Slugs or so on and so forth, depending on like what you need done right now, like who you're fighting against. But generally speaking, I think the um, the extra damage from from Tunnel Rats makes the shotguns really, really worth it. Um, like that, I think that's what makes them so powerful. So I would definitely recommend it. If you haven't tried Tunnel Rats, I'd give it a shot. Um, the extra damage goes really hard. Oh, and there's the item right there. Uh, oh, an Archbishop? Okay, we'll, we'll leave this behind for an Archbishop. Archbishops are really good. Um, they're like one of the best snipers. Maybe the best sniper, I don't know. But they're one of the best, if nothing else. Um, seven plastic is like a fair bit. I don't necessarily want to get rid of it. We'll get rid of one fire grenade. That's fine. Um, but the, the, um, the Scouts of Hades, I think they're specifically very, very good with the energy shotgun. The energy shotgun does not count as, um, using shotgun ammo. So the tunnel rats, cause it doesn't use shotgun ammo. So the tunnel rats don't get the buff, uh, they don't get a damage buff with it. So if you have the energy shotgun, which is a super late game weapon, uh, Scouts of Hades is in my opinion, the best class for it. And it is insanely good. Because you, as, as mentioned by chat, you can snipe with shotguns with the uh, scouts class going. Um, so you can snipe with your energy shotgun and literally just like one shot everything. It's kind of OP. It is really, really good. But that shotgun is um, hard to find and expensive to run because it fires batteries or uh, electerium or whatever the other ammo is called. So it's good, but, but expensive and, and hard to come across. <laughs> Let me sip some, some tea here. My neighbor's dogs are losing their mind. I can hear them barking, like, like from the from their yard. I don't know what's going on over there. And this is French against Corward. I am more than happy to do that. Again, I'm always happy to help French out. Oh, what did we get from France just now? Probably just some stuff I don't really care about. Um, I don't know. It's not even here anymore. I guess whatever whatever we got is not shown anymore. So meh. Either way is fine. I didn't really care. Um, they don't have anything special, right? Yeah, nothing nothing new yet. Maybe one day, maybe one day. We'll keep working for them. Uh, Percy Tunnel Rats. And again, we're getting there. We probably could have leveled that up, but meh. I was a little lazy about it. It's seven off. We're, we're almost, it's almost leveled, you know? It's almost leveled. We're almost there. Go? Okay, I was, uh, it wouldn't let me move. I had my hands on the wrong keys, that's why. I was, I was on like SDCV or something instead of WASD. I was I was down and over one. I was like, why am I going down now? I looked looked at my hand. I was like, oh, because you're not hitting the right buttons, dude. We'll take a Dr. Jones. While we're here, we might as well pick up one. And this thing is fine. Med kits are really good. Oh no. Okay, he missed. Thank you for missing. Why am I on stealth mode? And I didn't mean to skip a turn just now. That's really bad. Please, please kill him. Please kill him. I'm hiding, dude. I'm hiding from that guy. He's too spooky. He is too spooky. Okay, let me let me let me go stealth mode and then open the door because it doesn't take your turn and then we can kill. Okay, let's go, let's go. The saw cutters are terrifying, man. They are terrifying. Um, so I, I really wanted to kill him. He's down now, but he, while he was alive, he could have one shot me easily, and that would have been rather frustrating. So I'm glad he's dead. Um, I guess we could take nine mil out of here just for powder, for um the the better ammos for like the uh, the good the good um the good uh, heavy ammo or whatever. The nicer stuff. I don't think we have the chip for it yet, but whatever. Oh, and didn't we find an item chip for, for something? Like the rogue AR, and I didn't I didn't actually click it to like unlock it. The gun's not that good, but I should I would still like the chip, you know. So if I can remember to after this mission, I'm gonna try to use that chip. We might have done it, and I just don't remember doing it or something, but I don't think we did. Mm, this is not bad. We don't have the ammo for it, but I'll take it. It, 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 it. You know, it's a good little SMG. It fires the heavy ammo, so it hits pretty hard for an SMG, like comparatively hard. It doesn't do much damage compared to like an assault rifle, but compared to an SMG, it's pretty solid. I would love if the robot wasn't like... Yeah, I just don't want to blow up that barrel if I could. I'm probably gonna. Nah, okay, we're good, we're good. We didn't blow up the barrel. Let's go, Marauder level four. Okay, so the loot is insane now. The loot, I'm mean, once you get to like level two or three, the loot's like already pretty insane, but it's we've entered full insano mode with the uh, the loot now. 
Um, we will get just a, a truly stupendous amount of loot from, from every single enemy. Uh, so that's good stuff. That is really good stuff. I'll take these. Yeah, we'll just go. We'll go. It's funny I have such a different looting party as you with something. So we play so different. Yeah, and I, th I, I think that's a really, like, a really cool thing about the game. Um, like, there isn't just stuff that's worth, like, 20 gold and other stuff that's worth 50 gold. So you will always take the 50 gold item. There's You just take stuff that, like, you personally need right now. Um, like, you know, you can take stuff that's good trade value, like, like these microchips or whatever. Um, but a lot of what I end up leaving the raids with are things that I want for my place, my, my, my current playthrough. Like, stuff that I need for crafting or, like, oh, I'm lacking armor. So I, I love that about the game. And like, you know, it, cha it changes like, you know, raid after raid. Like sometimes I, you know, in a few raids, I will no longer, ah, okay, that didn't even hurt me, thankfully, but that was terrifying. But in a few raids, I'll probably not want for shotgun ammo anymore. I will, you know, have had enough. Um, This is so much fire. Can I just get out of the fire, please? Can we, can we chill on the fire? Okay, okay, I, th I think we're chilling on the fire a little bit. It's calmed down just a touch. Uh, but I, I really, I think we're back to being on fire. I really like the uh, how the loot works in this game. What is worth picking up for trades? A tin of private random things each run. Like this run, I'll get a bunch of plastic and rags, and then the next run, I'll get microchips and fuel. Um, it's tough to say what's best for trades uh, for for the new um, patch. They 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 heavily nerfed all the trading you could do because it was giga OP before. Um, there were there were like many many ways to create infinity loot. There are still ways to create infinity loot via trading, but um. Less of them, I think. Uh, but it's it. it I don't know. It, it's tough to give an answer. Um, trying to think, what have what have we traded that I've been pretty happy to turn in? Um, hmm, I don't know. I, I, on the old patch, I could answer that question really easily, but I'm struggling to have a, a proper answer. Do tell if you know them, so I'll, so I'll avoid them. Wink. Oh, oh, the the like infinity loot things. The only thing I've found on the new patch is um, and I don't know which station it's at, but if you go to a station, um, there's a station that wants um acid and glass from you, and it's the on my playthrough, and I think on on when when the game starts, it'll be this way for everyone, um, because the different different factions can take over different stations, but they always start in the same uh, the same setup, I believe. Um, but the faction that controls it gives you chemtrail ammo, and then you can break the chemtrail ammo down into acid and glass and trade that in as a positive feedback loop. So you can get the chemtrail ammo as well as whatever else the faction will give you, um, and then break break down some of the ammo and turn it into acid and glass, and then turn that in for more uh, chemtrail. Um, and you can do that literally forever. Um, it's a it's a it's like a positive feedback loop. But you can only do that towards the beginning of the game. Because eventually the whatever corporation it is, their 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 uh, offerings will change. They will stop giving you as much chemtrail fuel because they'll have other stuff to give you instead. Um, so as you progress and the the uh, percentage chance to get chemtrail goes down and down, um, that 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 idea will stop working or at least become less efficient. Um, but we did we did and we just stumbled across it. It was on accident. We were just trading, but we did come across the uh, the infinity loop there. But back on the old on the old patch, there was like a million ways to do it, and there were like it, uh, lots of things you could trade in for like fifty thousand loot value, um, not individually, but you could stack them up really easily to get like fifty thousand trade value or whatever. Uh, we we had some trades. I think we had one trade. <clears throat> Sorry, the voice is getting kind of rough. We've been we've been going talking a lot today. We had one trade that I think was over a hundred thousand trade value at one point um, from stacking up alien leather. The uh, Ganix fabric used to be giga OP. They nerfed it like super hard. It was, it was. I'm very happy they did, but they nerfed it like really, really hard. Um, it used to be just super, super powerful. Same with uh, batteries. Batteries used to be super OP. Okay. And this, now that we have, we've done this like a few raids in a row, we should have enough shotgun ammo to not need to carry it all out. It's Morbin time. How are you doing, Walsh? Welcome on in, Walsh. How are you doing today? And it is indeed Morbin time. Let me let me give you a shout out, man. Let me kill these people real quick, and then go to my second monitor to give Walsh be a shout out. Hey, Cannon, how are you doing, Cannon? Welcome on in. Shout out at old Walsh. And Walsh is a really good friend of the channel. Really lovely content creator. 
and um, was was playing some Star Sector, I think, this morning. So if you want some Star Sector content, you, you might be able to get some more from him. If you're not getting enough here, feel free to check out some, some of Wasps. Uh, and Wasp is a really, really, really cool dude. I love hanging out on his channel. I was actually lurking there yesterday. It was so funny. Um, you were playing, what was it called, uh, Wasp? Wizardum? Wizard Drum? Wizard Wizardum, I think? I, I I don't know exactly what it was called. But you picked up what, what appeared to be like a magic staff, and it was a shotgun. It was so good. It was it was just a, it was just like a blunderbuss. It, I, I was dying laughing, dude. It was such a good little moment. It was very funny. Someone just made me try the pistol character uh, with rats in the twelve uh, shot uh, shoddy pistol. It's crazy good. I've 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 considered that before as well, and it does. I, I, it seems good. So we, we might have to try that out ourselves. Nico Nico Medic, I believe it is, or Medic with the um with uh, the sh the Starlock ADPs. Uh, that seems like a good a good a good play. Wizardum, there we go. Actually, that looked like a good game, dude. Um, not only was that moment funny, the game itself looked really good. Um, like it looked like something I think I would really enjoy. So I might I might be checking it out, yo. Boomer shooter formula in fan fantasy seems to be great. Yeah, I that's 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 exactly what it was too. It's it's just it's just like run around and like shoot and loot. You know, pick up pick up stuff, but with mage instead of gun. I was like, ooh, I'm down. Um, it reminded me, um, mostly graphically, of a game called uh, something keep. Hold up, let me. This is the little 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 moment of silence here. What is it called? Dungeons Keep, Slasher's Keep. It reminded me visually of a game called Slasher's Keep. Um, and I like Slasher's Keep a lot, so I thought, I was like, ooh, nice. That was a good a good association. It put it up on a, like a, a positive note right away for me, because it looked like a game I liked, which is not really a way you should be judging your games. You shouldn't be like, oh, this game looks similar to a game I enjoyed. I therefore will enjoy this one. You should, of course, base the, the merits of the game on the gameplay, not how it looks, but. I can't help but but a little bit base it on it looking like that game. I should check it out. It's a really weird game. I believe it was made for VR. I never played it in VR though. Um, it's really cool though. I I I think you could have a really good time with Slasher's Keep. I haven't played it in a long while, but um, a large draw of the game is like you know the the character you make is is like very unique. Um, it's it's a cool game. I would definitely recommend checking it out. I think it was only like four bucks or something too when I bought it. It's it's not a very expensive game at all. So it was it was a really good time. My my slasher's keep time that was. So I would recommend it. But I hope you're doing good today, Walsby. Hope you're doing well today. Hope the world is treating you all right. Tomorrow, Blood West final update. Ooh, are you looking forward to that? Are you excited for that? Is that is that one you've maybe been waiting for for a long time? All right, let's let's go on down to the next floor. That's a flamethrower. That's a flamethrower right there, chat. That that is a person who wants to burn me alive. Thankfully, I will shotgun them to death before they get to consider any 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 further action. Thankfully for me, they are dead. Take the ammo, and we took the ammo. It 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 bugs and doesn't show like it's taken, but it's taken. Just, 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 just a little trust is all you need. All right. Oh yeah, let's go then, dude. Let's go. I will, I will, I will check it out. I will definitely stop by. And maybe, maybe, depending on the time of day, I might stop by with some friends, aka raid, if if you are indeed live. I'd add like two tomorrow or whatever. I'm gonna 100% find uh, all the stuffs and things. Let's go, dude. Um, that's not a game I've ever played, so, you know, I don't, I don't know much about it. But it's, I'm always happy to hear when, you know, one of, one, of, one of the friends of the channel is getting something exciting, you know, released. Some some cool content. Ah. I'm on fire. It's okay. It's okay, chat. We're, we're, we're fine. We, we can be on fire a little bit. We're also starving, dude. We are so hungry. Um, I, I must not have been eating food off people. Or they maybe just had, like, no food to eat. Um, but like that's that I, I ate like every bite we we had okay. There's some food here I, I don't know what I was doing then I we must have just not been eating food for a while. That's no good I shouldn't be doing that, but that I, I think it was happening Eh, disassemble not gonna take the ammo just no room, but whatever Oh another flamethrower. Yo, he just shot his own man, dude He shot his own dude right in the stomach. You hate to see it for them I mean you love to see it for me but you hate to see it if you're that guy. If you're this dude, you're having the world's worst day. Aww. Aww. 
Ooh, an item chip. An item chip. Feeling chippy. It's going to be the buffalo, Chad. I can tell. I can tell, Chad. It's the buffalo. You can tell how I feel about that one. Let's just say it's, it's no buffalo. They shoot each other more now, too, I think, which is cool. That is cool. I like that a lot. I never really noticed them shooting each other before, like, at all. So, um... I would also say it does seem like it's more, because I, I like I, I don't know if I ever noticed it. I probably at one point saw it somewhere and just forgot, but it didn't it didn't feel familiar. Is stuff like ID tags and ledgers worth it? I wish, but they they they're they're so rare. Um, like their value is rather high. Like they do trade for like a hundred each, but they're so rare that you can't stack them up in a single raid. So you're walking out with it ends up only being like a hundred trade value. I think they're supposed to be worth stacking. Are worth picking up um because they are like individually worth more than most other stuff but just because they're so rare if you're trying to get trade value they're not worth it taking like microchips would be way better um because microchips you can get like a fair few of um and they trade for a pretty respectable amount. hey everybody quist gaming here if you're enjoying the content please remember to like comment and subscribe it truly makes a difference thanks for listening thanks for watching and i'll see you next time